do this, we have to put gas on line for the trunking. Open up and you will see the gauge is increasing to the depth slowly. And they'll close the door, in the bell, close the door. So we're going to come up on the bell and you'll see the bell move. Come up. The bell is moving up into the hooks and into the locks. The bell is trolling across to the moon pool. Um, once it's at the moon pool, you'll see the bell start to descend into the moon pool. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, double one, how do you read? Loud and clear, loud and clear, loud Yep, loud and clear also. We have the reclaim panel here that can be used to, to train and to set up the reclaim system of the diving supervisor's panel. It has all the features that a normal panel would have. You can um, set up the HEO2 regulator by winding in the pressures which would adjust your flow and no flow lights indicating. You have O2 enrichment capabilities. You have the original setup, oxygen shut off and oxygen on with your O2 supply pressures, your O2 regulator pressures that can all be adjusted as per required for setting up a reclaim panel. Uh, and of course a VPR, which would set your pressures there as well. So all that would be set up and it can be affected by the trainer to fail, to adjust the settings, so it would affect the scenarios for the supervisor in training. One other scenario capable from this simulator is a contaminated bell scenario. Here we have in the uh, bell camera monitor that there's contamination in the bell and the bellmen and the divers are uh, acting irrationally. So the supervisor would need to know how to respond to that, what need to do with pressurizations, venting off, responding to the divers, and you can see the divers cameras here as well. In the event of a lost communications with the bell, the supervisor has the facility here of through water comms, through water comms to communicating with the bellman. Press to talk, we would talk to the bellman, we'd wait for a response back. And that is in another emergency scenario we're going to go through a scenario now of a DP warning and a DP alert. Bridge dive, bridge dive control, roger that. In the bell we have a DP amber alert. Divers, stop what you're doing and make your way back to the bell immediately. You can now see that the dive in the bell is starting to come up on the diver's umbilical and the divers are going back to the bell. Okay, now we've gone to an a abandoned DP alarm. The light's on, the, mute, the alarm is going. Tell the divers to get back to the bell as quickly as possible and the bellman's coming up on their divers, umbilicals. I can mute the alarm and we would carry on with the emergency scenario. This is a fantastic tool for training and for uh, return for work or going back in doing drills for your projects. Um, and getting more familiar with emergency drills and operations of saturation diving panel. Um, it's available now in the region and we can take it to your job site, it's a portable system, uh, or take it to your office site in your mobilizations as an example. IMCA have got allowance for panel hours for trainee supervisors to gain their panel hours on this system and it's a fantastic way to get that experience as well. Mm -hmm.